I just am. And by claiming the truth of who you are, I am, awareness automatically takes over and you're aware. You're aware of movements, you're aware of things passing through your consciousness. Like when I ask you to be quiet, what does it take to be quiet? Do you know why being quiet, teaching someone to be quiet is not popular? Do you know why most of your teachers, they tell you to do this, to do that? to try to clear your past issues, do therapy, do some cleansing with your ancestral lineage, clean up things from your past lives, do a lot of mental exercises, heal the the, the child within yourself. Purify yourself. Do cleansing, penance, rituals. How many rituals have you gone to? Calling the shaman to come through working with different medicine men, doing ayahuasca, doing different ceremonies. How many times have you done that? And these things are very popular. They're attractive and a lot of people would like to spend money and put time doing it. So there is popularity in it because you're doing something. You are spending money and you're getting something in return. It's got value to it. It's attractive. The teachings about being a co-creator with God to manifest a better world to co-create with God, to learn how to do positive visualization, positive words, say the right things so you manifest things. They're very attractive. How to materialize and manifest your soulmate different courses continuously to manifesting soulmates, to manifesting money, manifesting a better life. These are very attractive concepts. They're marketing concepts that is very attractive to the spiritual seeker. And it's easily you go spend money on it. But who wants to spend money on a message that talks about being silent. Be quiet. <laughs> it's got no marketing value. Everyone can tell you that. Be quiet. Don't think. But how can you make money from that? It's got no marketing value. It's worthless when it comes to marketing it. It's not attractive. (coughs) 
Do you get this a little bit? Yes? No? Are you with me? Are you there? Does it make any sense to you? What do you have to do to be silent? What do you have to do to be quiet? Do you have to spend money on it? Do you need to travel from here to India to be quiet? Do you have to change your diet drastically? Force yourself to be vegetarian in order to be quiet. Do you have to change your looks? I am going to shave my head and put on mala and wear an orange robe in order so I can be quiet. I need to move out of Los Angeles and go to the desert in order to be quiet. So it requires me doing something. I need to stop my glass of wine that I'm used to having a glass of wine every night in order to be quiet. I need to give up my cigarette smoking habit to be quiet. I need to go lose weight to be quiet. What do you have to do to be quiet? What does it require of you? Nothing. There's nothing you need to do to be quiet. And zero money you spend to be quiet. Hasn't this been the message all this time? Continuously, constantly, repeatedly, be quiet, be silent. That's why from marketing stand, standpoint, it's foolish, it's stupid for any teacher to teach that when it has no marketing value. It doesn't bring any anything. You can't make a living from teaching being quiet. You may not wonder why so few in the world have chosen to teach it and so many teach the opposite. It's simply because it has no marketing value. Nobody gets wealthy, rich, famous, powerful from teaching to be quiet. Because it's not a product. It's your natural state of being. I mean, you need to plug in also the plug to it so it doesn't die out later. You can't bottle it and sell it in a bottle or in a can 